ik ben Deborah en vandaag ga ik mijn haar uh, bruin laten verven door Theo. Iets donker dan, dan mijn normale kleur. En Theo mag het knippen zodat het weer iets langer kan groeien. Oké, okay, dit is Deborah en ze wil to grow back haar haar een beetje. Dus ik moet een hairstyle maken die suitable to grow back is. En ze wil een dark brown color. Yes. Weet je voor jou en de rest van de wereld? To show what you have now. It's a nice turn. Thank you. Hello friends on YouTube. I'm going to do hair. And you hear what we talked about. What we are going to achieve. I'm going to make a hairstyle that you can grow back. That doesn't mean it isn't short anymore. Because it's still a short hairstyle. But I can change the line so it grows easier in a hairstyle and it's easier to get back to a, a longer hairstyle. Of course I start with protection and as always I start with wetting the hair so you can see what the fall of the hair is the structure. It's not the first time I do a hair. <laughs> it falls hard I think. Yeah. And she is, uh, has hairspray in her hair. So you can brush it out, but you can also put a little bit of conditioner in it and then you can cut the hair very easily. Mostly I do that. This is the amount of uh, deep conditioner that I put on the hair. So now the moist stays in the hair, it makes it a lot easier to cut the hair. And I bring in some new con condition also at in, in the same time. And that, uh, Neutralisate uh, the hairspray. Because she wants to grow back, I cut the upper hair with a hot scissor. Let's start with that. Start with the upper hair. Start in the front. And just tip off the ends. When I cut it with this scissor, it's sealed for a, a, at least four months. And now it's winter time, so then it can grow for six months. Doesn't mean she don't has to cut hair anymore because we're going to let the upper hair grow and that till it reaches the underlines. So we have a lot of short hairstyles still to come. And the scissor where I'm working with is uh, 150 degrees. And that's also why there is a wire on it. Lay the front of the natural lines, curve them a bit so they flow to the back. And now this is the length I have from the upper hair. So this is also my guide for the grow back of her hair. And this lays on the line of the eyes. Het is nog best wel snel gegroeid. Ja. De haar groeit heel snel, dus je zult veel meer van haar zien. Een klein stukje draaien. Curve de haar in de lijn. Lift het op. Dus ik geef het een slight graduation naar de back. And now you can see that the line already starts to flow to the back. Stay working in the same line. Part with my fingers, so every time I take a small part out of the hair with my fingers, guide it to my comb. And then cut it. And so we get to the rubbing of the skull. Of 
from the back I take a lot of weights, so I get a little bit like a bowl uh, hairstyle, but not in hard lines. Of course do the same on the other side. First connect both lines to each other. Lay them on the line of her eyes. Set out my guideline. Give it again a slight graduation by turning my fingers up. This way I'm certain that it will fall to the back. Then I start parting the hair. And work till I get to the, the back of the skull bone on the center line. Okay, start with the under hair. Use the skull bone as a guide. Lift the hairs up every time about a centimeter. To the sides, I curve my comb in the lines of the eyebrow lines. It's not necessary to have this already in a long hairstyle because the upper hair will grow over it. And we also decided to be probably make a, a disconnect. So in the summer she will have long hair on top. And ultra short beneath it. But this is the thickest part of her hair. Take the hair up in the line as the eye, eye bar line travels over her skull because this line travels all the way down over the skull bone. And gently connect both lines to each other in a freehand style. So I'm certain that her flow of the hair will be wonderful. They travel into each other and certainly con connect to each other. Ik vind het heel spannend wat je doet. Ja? <laughs> Toch zit je altijd een beetje toch al in de hele sexy, natuurlijke lijnen. En dit ook, dit maakt het alleen maar mooier. Ja. Want jou, ja, je haar zit nu al op deze lengte. Ja. Dus dat is gewoon heel goed. En een boplijn staat niet op deze lengte. Nee. Dus het is eigenlijk gewoon een pixie haar staan. Again, set it in on the line of the eyebrow line. Know that my guide of the upper hair lays here. They are worked through. And again, in the freehand style, I connect to the baseline, I cut on top. So I get a soft connection from the neckline to the upper hair. And when I lean my Come against the hair fall, I can put the hair straight up. So I put them in and then I pull it back. So then I lift them up. So I'm certain that they all have the same length. And because she is growing back her hair, I do this uh, scissor of comb. Just on the parts I will do with the clipper to clean the contour line. And 
Dat is ook knap voor mezelf. Dan zit ik gewoon eigenlijk om de hoek te knippen. Wat? Ja. Ik zit zo niet te knippen zo. Oh, je ziet het bijna niet. Ik zie het bijna niet. Ik, ben, ik moet nou echt gaan draaien om een klein stukje meer te zien. En dat vind ik juist een heel leuk, want dat, gewoon, dat maakt het ook weer spannend. Ja. What I like about uh, Cicero of Com Techniques is that it gives ultra softness to the hair. And a character to the hairstyle. With small parts of my comb, I kept the underlines. Holding an ultra soft neckline. It's also very good practice for your skills. Going to clean the contour line. Do this with my oval clipper, small, small version. Again, bending the hair straight up, holding the natural lines. See how wonderful this neckline fur flows. Just a natural shape that's wonderful. And it's the same on both sides. So this is also lucky for her. And for me. Yay. <laughs> uh, something special. <laughs> Everyone is special. Yes. Even my mother-in-law. She is very special. <laughs> so now I can clean the sides and work on the parts in front of her ears. Afterwards I shave it out with a knife, but now because I still have to color it, I only do it with a clipper. But see how wonderful the hair falls now. Travels nicely over the skin. Let, let you see the sides. So you have all the volume and the length on top, and it flows wonderful in the skull line. So the movement of the skull lines are wonderful. That's what I like about it. Now I lay the hair in the natural fall, knowing that this is the length of the hair. Get in a little bit above that, and just make the sides ultra soft. Connected them to the back. In the underlines, I lean against the line and the fall. Putting the ear down, 
guide my scissor with my fingers. Holding the line real soft. Small hairs I clean with the clipper. See how wonderful the line flows. With a small clipper I just clean the hairs I don't need on the side beard. Also that's up above the ear. And clean afterwards. Coming to her left side, do the same. Lay the hair in a natural fall. Working there into the line I just cut on the back. Travel back. Ik is af en toe moeilijk als je hem scheef hangt. En die ademsap, die moet dan die, die kwak spugen over die regel heen proberen te krijgen. Dat is grappig allemaal. En mooi is hoe gevoelig ook het gehemeld is. Want dat is heel gevoelig, hè, ja. dat stukje. Ken laying the hair in a natural fall. Make a nice clean side beard. Afterwards I correct this with my small little snipper. Lay to the front. Connect the part behind the ear. With my small clipper, I'm going to clean the line. Holding the softness, lean the ear to the front. And now I've got myself a nice, clean, soft line to work on. Almost ready. And what, what, just what I see is about this spot a little bit thicker. So that I cut up a little bit. And now it's time to color her. So I'm going to make her a nice, new, dark brown color. On deep conditioner base, but that I'll tell you afterwards. I made her a color, it's from Collage, it's from Lacme. I take a, a 3 slash 0 0 and I put in from Chroma, and it's from Rover a polyvalente oil, and that's special treat for the hair, so it gives an ultimate glow, it makes the hair uh, take up the colors very easy and it stays better in, in color. There were the fall of the hair is open. Take about every time a half centimeter. Twisting my brush around so I get the color on both sides of the brush. Then I work it up. And 
and of course I put it all over here. Yeah. Now all the color is on, so I can close my plastic foil. This will be heated for 25 minutes, then rinsed out. And then we're back to show you the end result and the styling of her hair, of course. It's a bit difficult to do when you don't have a mirror. So I have to watch it. Uh, small screen I can see. But mostly it goes fine. Hello friends on YouTube. She's back from coloring. And you see it's a nice brown. With a slight shade of red between it, but that's not a problem. What I'm going to use is a thermal defense uh, in a straight line. It's from Lacme, and it's nice because it's a very light bottle, so you don't have to be uh, zuinig with it. Why do you know Zuinig, yeah. You don't have to, to worry about spending too much of it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Come blow right with a medium brush. Ja, weet je, als je er lijntjes in hebt, dan heb je daar heel vlug natuurlijk dat gevoel, hè? Ja. Sofa blow drying. Ik ga even een stijl gaan pakken. Een beetje uitstijlen. Niet met die, want daar heb ik iets anders mee geëxperimenteerd. bezig geweest met die kuur die je in verf kunt doen. Bij uh, iron kan we straight it a little bit. To add some more shine on it. And to give it a kinky feeling. Ik 
Oh, yeah, the fibro film. Yeah. <laughs> this iron has a uh, fibro. Uh, fibro. How do you call Fibrate. it? Fibrate. Vibration. Yes, this iron has a vibration, so I can close. When you close it, you feel it uh, vibrating. So it pulls the hair a little bit. Just making sure the lines of the hair are straight. And the two classic curling. And with the iron the speed you're working in is very important. Don't go too often over the same place. Just try to get it in one time. I will style it with uh, pomade. Pomade is from uh, Kiss. Make it nice warm between the hands. And now I'll work it out a little bit kinky. Don't tell her mother I did this. Oh. This is the nice thing about working with the eye, you can work it out ultra kinky. And this is a new hairstyle and color. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> okay, my love, you may show it to the world what it became. And even you're growing your hair. Yeah. It feels like a short hairstyle. Yeah. <laughs> thank you for modeling. Yes, thank you. Hey, I'm ben Bora, and today ga ik mijn haar bruin laten verven door Theo. Iets donkerder dan, dan mijn normale kleur. En Theo mag het knippen zodat het weer iets langer kan groeien. Oké, okay, dit is de boer en ze wil uh, to grow back haar haar een beetje. Dus ik moet een hairstyle maken die uh, suitable is om te back. En ze wil een dark brown color. Yes. Wil je turn voor jou en de rest van de wereld? Te show wat je hebt nu. Het is een mooie turn. Dank je.